Hey guys, it's Bill Allen with Evolve Lab, and today we're gonna to be talking about AI automation for Revit construction documents. Now there's all these really sweet AI tools that are coming out that help you with AI rendering, you got ChatGPT for copyright, but if you ever just wanted something that helps you with the day-to-day -day grind, like producing Revit construction documents, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to be looking at Glyph Copilot, your AI automation tool for Revit. Let's jump into it. Okay, so if you're looking at trying out Glyph for yourself or Glyph Copilot, what you'll do is you'll go to the Evolve Lab website, which is www.evolvelab.io. And then if you go under the Apps tab, here's Glyph right here. And you'll see there's the option to download, which you can just download the regular version of Glyph. And then there's the Copilot sign up. Now, this is part of our early beta. And depending on when you're watching this video, you may have to sign up to get access to Glyph Copilot. Um, very, very soon, Glyph Copilot will just be part of regular Glyph, in which case you can just download it and use it directly there. So that is how you can start to use it. Okay, so now that we're inside of Revit, let's go ahead and launch Glyph. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Evolve Lab tab and hit the little Glyph button right here. When you do that, it will open up this user interface right here. Now, Within this, we have different tasks and bundles. I'm not gonna go into this thoroughly because we actually already have some other videos that were really well done uh, that kind of go through all of this. But what I do wanna do is kind of set the foundation because some people ask, well, when I'm running Copilot, how does it know what dimension style to use or what view template to use? And all of this is done within the settings. So if you open up any one of these pre-made tasks in here, there'll be a set of settings that you can configure. So if I wanna create you know, reflected ceiling plans by level, in here you'll see that I have the architectural reflected ceiling plan view template associated to that task. Now to run this task, what we do is we go to the Copilot. You can either run it without Copilot or you can run it here with Copilot. And in the prompt, I'm going to say create ceiling plans for first floor through third floor. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter to run it. And you'll see over here in the project browser that it's actually gonna create my reflected ceiling plans uh, for me. There they are, they just popped up. And we have 01 first floor ceiling plan through third floor, which is pretty awesome to be able to use large language models in kind of this GPT format and be able to have it understand first floor through third floor. So I went ahead and populated that, which is awesome. So let's do some um, more uh, ambitious task here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna start documenting this floor plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let's uh, run a tag walls and doors in current view, okay? Pretty common task. We'll run that and it'll be able to create those um, door tags as well as wall tags inside of our project. It's gonna use the associated uh, tag that is associated to that task, um, as well as uh, for the door and for the wall. So you can see that we have the door tags, and we also have the wall tags that just showed up here. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do uh, create elevation of rooms 103 through 107. Okay, and you'll see that the elevation markers start popping in here for each room. Pretty awesome. And then let's do uh, create enlarged plans of rooms 103 through 107. There we go, and we have our enlarged plans. Now, if anything just graphically isn't perfect, um, as you know, if you drop in an enlarged plan uh, manually, sometimes you have to move these bubbles. Uh, one thing we like to say is uh, Glyph is an 80% tool, so uh, we still have a, just a little bit of cleanup that we have to do there, but you can see we have our enlarged plans and our elevations, and uh, that is a lot quicker than having to do all of that manually. Okay, 
Let's uh, start doing um, some dimensions using Glyph. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this view here. And let's do um, dimension walls on current view. Now, you know how tedious it is to go through and select the dimension tool and have to pick every single wall tab. There we go. In just a few seconds, we were able to do dimension our floor plan. Now, another thing we can also do is we can tag, or excuse me, we can dimension multiple views uh, on sheets as well. So if I have these casework um, elevations, I could say dimension casework on sheet A4, because that's the, the sheet I'm on. So here's another variation of a prompt that I can give it. And you'll see here that it will go through and dimension all the casework on there a lot quicker than having to do it manually, right? Okay. Um, let's go to uh, a sheet and let's see if we can dimension uh, curtain walls here. So when I was working in projects in healthcare, I used to do a ton of dimensioning for curtain walls. So I'll say dimension curtain walls on sheet C102. Okay, I had a little typo there. So let's say dimension curtain walls on sheet C-102. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And there you can see it's dimensioning our curtain walls. And then I'll say tag curtain walls on sheet C-102. Actually, I want to tag uh, curtain wall panels. So I used to have to do this a lot um, to delineate between uh, fritted versus glaze versus spandrel uh, to tell uh, the contractor which panels uh, were which type of uh, curtain wall panel types. And you can see here, Glyph Copilot is tagging all of those curtain walls. Now it's worth mentioning in Revit, you have a tag all not tagged, right? But I'd have to activate every single one of these views, tag all not tagged, deactivate view, activate next view, tag all not tag, deactivate view, etc. Here I'm able to just prompt it and get it to tag. Now the other thing we can also do, just going back to our uh, floor plan example, is if we wanted to create uh, sheets by room, this is really useful for like room data sheets, or if you have like one bedroom, two bedroom apartments, um, and you wanna be able to create sheets uh, by that room or that space, um, what we can do is we can also create sheets by room. So I'll just come down here in the project browser and I'll show you that if I say create sheets for rooms 103 through 107 and we hit enter, you'll see that it'll actually create the sheets as well. There we are. And so we have sheets 103 through 107 created as well. So in summary, what we were able to do is use Glyph Copilot to create views, to create tags, to create sheets, uh, to tag and dimension um, certain sheets and views. And so this is just a really powerful way to leverage artificial intelligence to have it work in our favor to help us document the project. Now, it's worth mentioning that this tool isn't putting me out of a job. I'm leveraging the tool just like I would leverage, you know, the tag all not tag button inside of Revit. So it's one way that we can just get our projects done quicker, leverage the power of AI. If you have any questions or comments on Glyph or Glyph Copilot, make sure you head up our forum and support tab. And in here, all of our team members will be happy to assist you uh, in here with any posts that you publish there. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to leverage AI using Glyph Copilot to auto document your Revit project. If you have enjoyed this video, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, uh, leave a comment there if you are using Glyph, uh, if you have questions about Glyph, and we'd love to hear from you. We hope you guys have a great day and a blessed week. Take care. Bye-bye.